Welcome to Low Country Money Talk with the Revolutionary Financial Group. Of course, I'm here with Phil Bloyd. I'm Betsy McDaniel, in for Jessa Jeremiah today. Hey. Nice to see you. Good to see you again, Betsy. Yeah, so we're going to jump into some current events, and boy, sure. do we have some things to talk about. A few things going on these yes. days. Yes. Seems People like always. Scared, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, a little, little scary with the banks and stuff. So uh, just real quick, everybody probably knows this already, but uh, uh, what, what has happened, we've had a period of 0% interest for so long. You know, it's really good when you're buying a home or a new car right. and all that, right? Absolutely. But the banks, you know, they should be getting some interest actually over the ter term of 20 years. So really that wasn't going on. So the Federal Reserve's been into that quantitative easing or whatever you want to call it for all that time. And then all of a sudden we go from 0% interest to 4 5% interest as far as the Fed funds rate in a year. Yeah. That's like culture shock. So, <laughs> it's like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> the good days are over. <laughs> so what happens, you know, we've had these banks, and this wasn't a normal bank, so not to get too, you know, scared and things. This was more like a, a venture capital bank. 90% uh, of their deposits were over the 250 as far as the insured amount. So that's really, I mean, that really is important to note yeah. because that is not your normal no, bank. No, no, no. Yeah. These were like for tech companies. Silicon Valley was that say, right? Right. So they for tech companies, venture capital, startups. All, you know, it's not great for them to lose their uh, money either. Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank, if anybody watches that, yeah. he had, I think, 15 million or something in it. He says, hey, you know, it should have failed. He said, I'm a risk taker. I'm, I'm all about that, you know? And, when, and good for him that he can risk $15 million, I would yeah, say right. the average Joe probably sure. can't do that. Probably not. And I don't think there was too many average Joes in this bank. Yeah, it doesn't sound like yeah. it. Yeah, so the problem with this bank is they had a terrible investment portfolio. They didn't have any risk manager for the last year. Uh, they only had one bank person with bank experience on the board. So I wouldn't, you know, tie in all the big banks to that. Yeah. But the problem was they had long-term uh, investments paying 2%. Um, Short-term rates went up to 4 or 5% on treasuries. Uh, $42 billion came out of their bank. They had a run on the bank like it's a wonderful life, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> yeah. uh, they had to sell their long-term investments and they sold them at a haircut, which means they lost money. So to come up to cover the deposits coming out because they already lent out all of your money that was on deposit. Right. Um, you know, there's some other safe uh, forms or I would say low risk type forms of uh, investing that people should look into. So if we get the 250 met at the bank, then we can maybe talk about some other things. Some other things. Yeah. That Sure. A little less risky than, right. you know, putting it in, like you said before we started filming, the Real Housewives of San Francisco yeah, right. Bank, right? Okay. <laughs> That's the board. Yeah, right, exactly. The real All right, yeah. well, so if you are looking for uh, how to say, how to have your retirement safe, you're going to have to call Rachel so that you can get your revolutionary wealth review going. And so uh, it's free. Yes. Absolutely. Let's so look at some of the choices. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So make sure that you're calling Rachel, and we're mm -hmm. going to be back in just a minute with a lot more. So stay with us.